so we're going to do something super fun today. We're going to play with my Amsterdam paints I just got. They're acrylic paints, and they're new to me. So we're going to try some stuff. We're gonna try. We're gonna use a baby square gel plate. We're gonna use this for background paint because I want to see how long it takes to dry, things like that. So let's just start with some paint and a paintbrush because that's what I know the easiest. Um, and I'm gonna do so. This one already has a bit of orange. Let's do a bit of orange. Well, I already have an orange paint page because that's what this is do i want orange i don't want orange let's do one a red and a pink let's see how long this paint lasts let's see if we have to open it nope okay so we got some red and we got some pink i'm just doing a little dab Okay, boop, boop, boop. All right, well that doesn't go very far. Let's see what happens if we put some water on it. This may just be like a gel platey one. Nope, see this is the difference between distress paint and regular paint. When you water down this paint, it becomes less pigmented where distress paint doesn't do that. So let's let's just get some paint on here because I want a little background, but I don't want it to be covered. Let's do a tiny bit of, and it's bending because of the water, not because of the paint. So let's get just a little bit more red in here. Okay, so we got red on this one. Now we got fingerprints. Ooh, this is a very gummy paint. Okay, so let's do a. Oh, I got. I can clean my paint. My paintbrush today. I cleaned out my paint bucket. My paint uh, cleaner thingy. And do we want to do a purple? Okay, let's do a purple. Now, because there's water in my brush now, it might actually do better for spreading around. Oh, there's Wally, imagine that. Wally wants to go out because I started talking. Okay, so this, this paint doesn't go very far, I don't feel like, compared to some other paints I've had. And let's put a tickle of pink in there. Trying to love purple. This is a very pretty color purple, I think, huh? Let's get some water in there. I want to move this paint around a little bit. Incorporate some of that pink into the purple. There we go. That's better. All right, let's give this a second to dry. We'll let Wally go out, and I'll be right back. Wally, do you have to go potty? Come on, Okay. So I kissed it together and dried it a tiny bit. Okay, now we have this, and we have our extra special extra journal. So let's go ahead and not waste this paint. We'll start putting this on here. Let's see what we can get out. Oh, there's some more. Okay, nice. All right, so next we're gonna do a little gel plate and see how we like that. And I found my very special Vicky Booten stencils again, which is exciting. So we're gonna do a couple things with this. We're gonna do, oh, I'm gonna put this in the water and clean it. Imagine that, cleaning my brush, because we're gonna use a brayer for this. Let's use, oh, I bought a tiny brayer. Hold on. Where'd the tiny brayer go? All right, let's see. It's gotta be here somewhere because I just got it. This is a big wide brayer I bought, but I bought a tiny little brayer. I don't know where it went. Oh, here it is. 
Rubber Brayer My Life Unit with hard wooden handle. Look, it's a baby brayer and it's soft. Okay, it's out. And this is just the right size I need for this little tiny gel plate, huh? <laughs> okay, fun. So what I wanna do is I wanna use full color pink and full color purple on here. I'll probably do full color purple on this one and full color pink on this one. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pick a couple of little circles onto this gel plate. And if you don't want um, to get smudges all around your um, project, then don't do this right on your gel plate, right? And this may be a little bit too much paint for this. Okay, so we're gonna go and we're gonna do this over here. Get that paint off of there. And then we're gonna take this and put it down. And I bet you we get another one. There we go. We're just kind of using it as a stamp. And then we have a little bit on the back. Okay. So I feel like we have plenty of paint on here do this again now I like this paint for this gel plate very much okay where's our fun purple page we made okay. and this is why I like using my um, gel plates on acrylics because then I can move it out of the way. I'm not kind of working on my gel plate. It can move around with me. All right, we're gonna put this down in the corner because this is just gonna be purple on purple, right? You're not gonna see that as much as you see the pink on the purple. All right, do we like the purple on the purple? I kind of like the purple on the purple. Let's do that again with a different pattern. A little bit less paint. And you gotta move your brayer around or you're not getting paint on all of your brayer, you're only getting paint on part of your brayer. Okay, so I'm gonna come over here. and just start making layers over there. But I want this over here to be purple on purple. Oh, I like that. Look at that, that's snazzy. Okay, we're gonna do that again. Boop, boop, boop. And I'm just making an abstract art background. Um, I am finding that I like the monochromatic background better. So, we've got a couple things we can do. We can keep building purple layers over here, right? And kind of get this to where this is a purple layer with a pink background. Okay. So now I do want this to be closer to the coils. So if you just move it up to the edge of the acrylic, you can go right up to the edge. Nice. Okay, I definitely like this one better than this one. So let's keep going and we'll figure out what we need to do over here to make us like this one more. That's okay. We don't have to like every single thing we do. Let's see what happens if we put a little bit more purple on here. So either I need more purple or I need more pink, right? There's a, a kind of a, a natural thing that we can figure out since I don't like the purple and the pink, either I need more purple or I need more pink, right? So this time I'm gonna try more purple 
and see if I like it with more purple. And maybe next time I would try and see if I liked it with more pink. Okay, I think I'm starting to like that better. Now, you may be thinking, I hate that now, which is fine. Then when you're playing around, you would do more pink, right? Okay. So now, one of the things I want to do is I want to use these new, this is uh, Wendy Vecchi, you make darts with these things, uh, dots with these things, and I think that'll be fun. So we're going to try dots. All right, so for this, that's a big dot, right? That's a baby dot, and these are minuscule dots. Okay, so she says that you would take your paint over here, you put out a gloppy of paint, and you dab this in, and you can make perfect dots. Those feel like perfect dots. Who knew Wendy Vecchi knows a thing or two, right? I'm going to make dots around some of my stuff. Oh, this is fun. I am totally digging this. Sorry if my head's in the way. Look at that. That is really cool. Oh my gosh, you would use such a minuscule amount of paint. I got so much paint over here for these little dots. This feels like this is a line going over. How about if we put dots down here? Oh my, I love you, Wendy Vecchi. Now I am actually gonna be patient with this one because they're not gonna keep that high dot thing if I smoosh them by closing the page or not being patient. So for once in my art life, I think I might be patient to keep my dot study. That's okay, we'll turn it around and we'll work on that page. Oh my. What do you think? I think we need some more dots somewhere in here. So let's do a bink, 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 like a grid of dots. I am obviously not good at making a grid. But how cool is that? Okay. Let's go with that. I'm gonna wipe this off and we're gonna use some of this purple on here. And this time I'm gonna use these guys. These are Carabelle Studio Smushy Things. I don't know what they're actually for, but we're gonna use them for this. So let's spread this out. And this is a silicone pad from the Tim Holtz um, art background. I use the We Are Memory Keepers, but you can buy these separate. So we're going to put some paint out. We're going to smush this down. And we're going to transfer the paint over here. Very subtle. All right, this one has more space. So let's try this one. Okay. 
There we go. Ooh, there's a butterfly in there. Okay. I don't know. Do you feel like that did anything? Is that what we're supposed to do? That didn't feel like that did anything. I'm going to rinse this off. Okay, let's try our, where's our jelly plate? The problem when they're little is it's easy to lose them. Okay, let's try it this way. So let's do this one that has more coverage. All right, you can see a pattern in there, so let's try to transfer this one first. I don't think that did anything. Let's try this guy. So you see there's little stars and stuff in there? I don't see it. I don't see it. Oh, I don't know why I got this one. This didn't seem to work. Oh no, I'm gonna have to look on the interwebs and see how this is supposed to work. It probably has a function. I just don't understand it. We'll do something else with those. All right, so I don't love this. What could we do? What to do, what to do? Do we want to put, so we already have pink under here. Let's try putting, let's try putting Vicki Booten stamps that I like on here, just right on here in bright pink or stencil. Gosh darn it. All right, we're gonna use this gel plate as a palette. Put a bunch of ink on there because I want a bunch on there. I like these bullseyes. feel like this is a mess. I don't love this side. So we are going to get some tissue paper. I have all kinds of tissue paper that I love that I made. So here's some pink. We're going to use this piece of tissue paper. I have a whole video about how to use this and we are going to rescue this page. Let's get our Mod Podge and our silicone brush out. Mod Podge Oogs. I feel like there's something exciting in that one. Okay, here we go. We're going to put this across the top. Because I'm going to have to put, stop playing anyways because I want to keep my dots dotty. So then we can put a pause on this and let it dry. And I was picking up a little bit of that pink paint, so we're going to get even a few more layers on here. Get a nice wrinkle in there, yeah, yes. And I'm putting a fair amount of Mod, Mod Podge on here. Because I want to be able to see the stuff beneath it. Okay. 
And then I want this to be way less white, except for maybe those gold sparkles. And I want the gold sparkles to go up this way. Oh, that's it, perfect. There we go. All right, right like that. And now we are going to kind of saturate this. And then we're gonna let our Wendy Vecchi circles dry and this dry. Well, you know what we could do while we're waiting? I mean, this, this will take till this afternoon to dry. This isn't a I live in Florida. This isn't a, oh, this is going to be dry in a short amount of time. This is a, I am going to be waiting hours for this to dry. Nope, I don't want another piece in there. Okay, so in the meantime, I feel like what that told me was that I like a monochromatic background. And remember how I said I don't like green? We're going to play with green. Because we might as well, while we're playing with paints, challenge ourselves. Right? Right, right, right. Okay, so I do like this green. This is chartreuse green. So we're going to put a little bit of green on here to kind of fill this out. And it does look like we got a little bit of that pink in there, but that's okay. I like that. And I'm pressing medium hard on this. Okay. All right. So now we've got that. Let's do some gels, and I'm going to use this fun one that I like, and then we could do Wendy Vecchi dots at the edges. I'm obsessed. Okay, so we're going to do two things here. We're going to do this, and put that right where there's a blank spot. just to get some texture. And then we're gonna do this on the edge. Look at that. That is cool. Can we get another one? Okay, 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 okay. Ooh, we got a lot of purple on that one. Oh, I kind of love that. All right, we're gonna do that again. Uh, let's do this guy down here. Oh, look, I left my paint open. Imagine that. Good golly, Miss Molly. Oh, I see gold over there. Do we want a little bit of gold? Do we want some shine? Oh, do we have a green? Oh, let's look and see. We may have something fun. And put this one right here and do one more over here okay there we go oh i'm loving that you can even see the old one that we did i am going to use some nature green glamour gel next Look how fancy that is. Okay, so what do we want to do with it? Let's think about it. Do we want to brayer it on here and use it as a stamp pad? Let's try that. Let's grab a different bag. Oh, I have three bags of stamps. So I hardly ever grab this one. Let's see what's in here. Trinity. 
train, railroad, what is this? Camera, these are all the steampunky ones. Crown. Ooh, love potion, that's cute. We've got a journey one. Oh, I like this one. And I like that one. Okay, so we're gonna go with those. This one doesn't really go with these. So we're gonna put that one back. We're gonna put these back. And we're gonna get a little palette knifey thing. And we're gonna put some of that on here. Being able to use your gel plate as a stamp block is kind of fun. Ooh, you know what? I actually think I want this to be, to go on the whole thing. So I'm going to use a that that's cute okay I love that I'm gonna do it three places there we go okay and then I am going to clean this off with a rag and a little bit of, um, I use Grove because it smells nice. This is rosemary. That did not clean that off at all. I'm going to have to take that to the tub or the sink as soon as I get done here. All right, let's see what happens if we stamp this. Nice. Okay, do we want to do it as a, I think I'm gonna try something different this time. I'm gonna put this on. And I'm gonna pull that off with the stamp. There we go, see we got a little, what do they call that, ghosting? where you pull it off with the stamp. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Okay, I want a little bit more of that up here too. Okay, so a little bling to our Amsterdam acrylics, but I think I'm at a stopping point. I will be back to show you the results at the end. All right, we got the late afternoon sun coming in, so it should be awful bright in here. Let's see. We got this one. Oh, this is not just green. It's like shiny gold. I don't know if you can see that in there. That's very pretty. And let's grab this. And what I like to do with this, so number one, you can come this way. There's that terrible page. I think we're gonna paint over that one. Okay, so I kinda want this to be a ratty edge, and even if it comes up inside the page, it didn't, but I would be okay if it did. All right, there we go. I think we got a little inside the page that time. There we go, a little bit of ratty. And this one, we got a little ratty. There we go. Is that one stuck? Yep, that one's stuck. This poor orange page sticks to everything. I don't know what's up with it. All right, so. For our little play day, we've got this side, which I just think is so cute. I love those dots, and they're just little dots. I don't know if you can see them, but there's like a little raised part of the um, 
the acrylic paint and then I love what happened on this side and there's all kinds of texture and a little bit over here. I don't know what we're going to do with this yet, but hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, artsy fartsy life.